Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. Today is another collab with my friend Emily D. And we're using the Nomad palette. It's called Verona Amore Amorte. And so we decided to use this side of the palette, which is the death is called death in English. So anyway, if you'll see there, there's some really dark tones and I think I can create a really beautiful look with a black eyeshadow base. And so I went ahead and applied the eyeshadow base off camera. And so I've got my, ba my base makeup on and I'm ready to get in to this look. And so what I'd like to do is, um, I think I want to go in with some of these like purples and so anyway there's so many pretty colors in this in this palette it's just tempting to use the black right off the off the bat but I do want to use some of these ones that are not black just to show you that you know a black base can be used with them so anyway I'm gonna use this uh, LaRousse Butte uh, brush it's a, like a smaller type fluffy brush and I want to do some um, crease work and so I'm gonna go in with this shade called dagger which is this like mauvey kind of purple shade right there and I'm gonna I just want to jump off into the palette using it first it's kind of hard to decide but I think this is the direction I want to go and so I'm gonna apply that right here in the crease and we're actually um, setting the eyeshadow primer as we go and you can see that this this shadow is kind of a dusty kind of a purple mauve color but over that black base it's going to really take on a darker tone okay so i'm just going i did the lid and i went above the lid into the crease And then I'm going to leave this upper part here for uh, another shadow. So let me grab another brush here. And let's see. Let me do this one here from Alamar Cosmetics. And I'm going to go into this light gray. It's called Tomb. It's that one in the upper left-hand corner there. <clears throat> I'm getting a little bit of kick up in the pan, but I just want to like go up above what I just laid down and lay that light gray on top of it. And this is going to be a really dark, sultry kind of a look. Not really, I don't really celebrate Halloween, but I do like dramatic looks like this, especially for date nights. You know, you put on a nice outfit, maybe a black sequin top of some sort a pair of lashes do a nice dark lip to go with it and you know you can create a really easy look with a black base and just two or three shadows so we got something good going on here and so because the the shadows are dark and the eye base is dark, we really don't need to deepen up that outer V. So right now, I'm pretty much ready for a pop of shimmer. So let me, let me swatch a couple here and see what I want to use. I've got this one here called Juliet, which is like a bluish kind of purple. And then there's Tragedy which is like a really pretty dark purple. I think that'd be really pretty with what I got going on. And then there's this gold one called Moors, which is really light, but it'd go pretty with the gray. But I think I'm gonna stick with the purple thing. I'm gonna go with this one called Tragedy. It's a duochrome. It's got some sort of a um, like a goldish bronzy kind of a flip to it 
and over top of this dark thing I got going on here, I think I'm going to get something really pretty. And you have to trust the process on this kind of look because it's frightful. And I promise you, I'm not going to a Halloween party or anything like that. And the more you apply, the more of that shimmer comes forth. Okay. Super pretty. Super, super pretty. Okay, let me go off camera. I'm going to do the other eye. And then we'll come back and we'll do lips together. And we'll finish this up. Alright, y'all. I'm back. And I finished the eye look. Put on a pair of lashes. You know, mascara and lashes. And what I used on the bottom lash line was the dark purple. It's called Dark and then I put some of that purple shimmer called Tragedy on top of it to just create. Because I didn't have a black base down there, but I wanted that to really pop. And so, you know, you need something underneath the lashes to kind of uh, complement or, you know, that's going to match, you know, whatever's on the top. And so, and then for the highlighter that I used on the inner corner and below the brow bone. I went in with the Ace Butte Glow Highlighter Palette and I used this shade called Poppin, which is right here in the corner. It's got like a pink, it's white, but it's got like a pink duochrome kind of a flip to it and it just complements that purple so well and so I love it. And so then um, I used um, the City Color Baked Blush, Keep Blooming. I love this. Y'all, it's so pretty. And um, let me open it up and I'll show it to you. It's got like an embossing there. It's really beautiful, which I already had a cream blush on, but I wanted more. You know, I just needed more. And, and then for the highlighter on the cheeks, I used the same shade out of the Ace Butte Glow Palette. The, um, when I did my cleanup off camera to try and, you know, get a little bit of fallout and everything, I just went in with another little bit of concealer and set that with powder to, you know, combat all of that. So, anyway, I was able to get the, the cleaned up, you know, un bright under eye look that I wanted. And so then I just went in a pair of Demi Wispy lashes today. And so now I'm ready to do lips with you guys. I want, I've want i got a lip trio here picked out. And we're going to start with the lip liner from Ace Butte. It's called Pout Perfection Liner. And this is... I can't tell what the shade is because the, the writing is gone. It could be Vogue. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a really pretty like a, like a plum kind of a brown. So I want to use it today. I want to do a, a dark lip to go with the dark eye. And I've got a lipstick and a lip gloss picked out too. Should have put some lip balm on underneath all this, but that felt kind of dry. But anyway, it's on. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this one called Raisin from Ulta Beauty. That's the shade right there. Really pretty dark mauve kind of color. I love this color. 
the lip look is going to pull the whole lip the look together. And it's going to be kind of vampy looking, but you know, I think that's what I want to go with this eye look today. Cuz the eye look is dramatic. All right, now I'm going to go in with this Almay Goddess Gloss. This one's kind of a um, mauvey like it's got a purplish grayish I don't know there's a flip to it anyway the the shade is called mystic and it's just beautiful so anyway I want to make sure I mix it up real good anyway it's got like a purplish kind of a cast but it's got that shine that I'm looking for Mm-hmm. Yep. That's it. That's a what I'm looking for right there. Okay. So, let me just go over the shades in the palette again with you guys real quick. And that way you know exactly what I did in case you have this palette yourself. So, I used the Black Eye Base from City Color Cosmetics. It's just an eyeshadow primer in the color black and that gave me that smoky base that I really really wanted and then I went in on the lid and in the crease with this mauve shade right here it's kind of a plummy grayish mauve it's called dagger and then I smoked that out with this light gray shade called Tomb. Now mind you, those were on top of the black eye base and that's why I got this dark look, okay? And then on the lid, I used this shade called Tragedy, which is a purple, but it has like a gray flip. Anyway, very dramatic. And then underneath the lash line, I used this dark shade here called Dark <laughs> and then I've used Tragedy on top of that to give me that, that dark look underneath the lash line. And then the inner corner was with the highlighter from Ace Butte. So, ta-da, you have to let me know what you think. It's dark, it's sultry, it's vampy, and it's beautiful. This palette, y'all, I just used those four shades. I mean, I didn't even, even get into the black at all, but that black eye base just really gave this just a gorgeous, smoky look. So, anyway, you'll have to let me know what you think. Make sure you hit <coughs> the subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified of all my future uploads. I will link uh, Emily's video below, and y'all make sure and go over and visit her, her channel. She's a, a, such a delight, such a sweet girl, such a sweet friend. And she's expecting a baby coming December 25th, y'all. How about that? And so anyway, she's nesting right now, preparing the baby's room and, you know, all those good fun things. All right, y'all, that is it for me today. I really like this look. I wish I was going somewhere, but I'm not. <laughs> anyway, I'm just coming to see y'all. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. God bless you today. It's my prayer. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.